Red FM's FIFO Life. Big Al here with you. Now joined by Alex from Chesswork Group for our tip of the week. How are you, mate? I'm well. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Today we're going to be talking about uh, buying a property uh, for a tax concession. Now, no one wants to pay tax. I imagine every FIFO worker, when they get their pay slip, looks at it and goes, how much am I paying in tax again? Definitely. Uh, and, you know, everyone out there knows that, you know, when they look at their pay slip, uh, a lot of the FIFO workers listening now are actually paying more in tax than most people are earning gross. Mm. And it hurts. You know, you kind of look at it and go, oh, I'm surrendering all this money to the tax department. And a lot of property spookers out there will, you know, try and go, look, you know, what you need to do. And, and I've even seen this from accountants. They'll say to you, you know what, you've got to go out and you've got to buy a property, you know, and you've got to, you know, negative gear it. And I understand that, yeah, especially for an accountant to tell you that, they're going to look like an absolute superstar at the end of the year when you get a tax return, you know, five, seven, eight thousand dollars $8,000 and you're going, oh, great, I'm getting all this money back from tax. Mm-hmm. What you don't realise is to get five thousand dollars back in in a tax return, you've probably spent fifteen to get that back. Yep. Yep. Right. So you're actually losing money. So negative gearing is a fantastic consolation prize by the government for losing money. Now, if you want to talk about an exit strategy, getting out of the FIFO life, uh, you really need to buy properties that are going to replace your income. Now, negatively geared property, you know, I'm not totally against it in principle, Mm -hmm. but if your strategy is to start replacing income, it's not going to do that. So if you get, you know, a property that's going to cost you $100 a week to keep it, um, how many of them can you afford? Yeah. You know, whereas if you've got a property that's paying you $100 a week to keep it, how many of them would you like? Mm. You know, and so this is the, the idea is that, yes, paying tax, everyone hates it, but you know, one of the big questions I say to people is like, "Well, would you would you be upset if you had to pay a million dollars in tax?" Mm, I think a lot of people would be upset with that. <laughs> Definitely, but what they're not thinking of is that to pay a million dollars in tax, that means they must have earned three million. Yeah, you know, so <laughs> not so bad when you think about it like that. <laughs> exactly. So you know, anyone out there who just wants to stop paying tax, I've got the best option for you. All right, it's quit your job. You'll never pay tax again. (laughs) Oh, that's all. Okay, sweet. (laughs) See ya. (laughs) So buying a property just for a tax concession is not really having a long-term strategy. Mm. Uh, And, you know, it's getting that tax return at the end of the year. It's actually better if you're getting to a point where you've got to pay tax because you're making so much money on these investments. Yeah. Because let's put it this way. If you lose your job and you've got two, three investment properties and they're all costing you $100 a week to keep it, now you're really – you're in you're in strife, you know, because now you've lost your job. Not only have you probably got to pay off your own home or rent mm-hmm. – and now you've got this other drag of three hundred dollars a week from these investment properties. You're probably going to be forced to sell, or you know maybe you get another job and you know you're just struggling really badly. However, if you've got three or four investment properties that are actually paying you a hundred dollars a week each, well now if you lose your job in FIFO, well you've got additional income that probably will pay your home loan or your rent. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And now you've got that additional stream of income and even if you like you know everyone's talking about the exit strategy if you've got another three or four hundred dollars a week income coming in when you go back and get an you know another job for less money um well now you've got a supplement yeah do you know what i mean like yep. you start, you're on your way to replacing that income which is really what wealth is about absolutely well if you want more tips they can download your free ebook Yes, you can get on the website. It's www.chessworkgroup.com.au. Uh, get on there. It's on the front page. Enter your details and we will flick you a free ebook. Absolutely. Well, thanks for the chat this morning. Thank you so much. Alex there from Chess Work Group. Go to the website to get that free ebook, chessworkgroup.com.au. That brings an end to FIFO Life for this week. Take care. See you later.